Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Hunter. I'm one of the piano teachers and at Tamarin Strings Conservatory and today we're going to talk just a little bit about practice performances. What are some of the benefits of them? How can you give them? Why are they so important? So the first thing that we're going to talk about is just the fact that performing itself is something that needs to be practiced. I think everybody's probably had the experience of, you know, playing something or practicing something in the, ex, you know, in the privacy of your own home or, or your own space or whatever. And then as soon as there is the extra expectation of an audience involved, our bodies do things and we, re re we react different ways and a lot of unexpected things can happen. So one of the things we really try to teach at Hammer and Strings Conservatory is this art of performing. So here's a few tips as you go into any performance. Number one, try to give at least 10 practice performances. That's a lot, and you can't do that all in one day. So you need to plan the entire week to two weeks ahead of your performance and start giving practice performances. That can look like a ton of different things. It can look like a performance in front of your family. It can look like having a friend over, or a neighbor, or a grandma, or a cousin anybody that's going to sit and watch you perform. Anything that makes you nervous. Another th great thing is you can actually do one or two practice performances for yourself if you're doing a recording. You can record it, watch it, and evaluate yourself. Sometimes just that knowledge that you're being recorded can activate some of the adrenaline and nervous feelings that an audience can do. Another tip is to try to perform in different situations that you might be nervous. Try performing in the morning. Try performing right after dinner when you haven't had any chance to practice in that day or in several hours. Practice in the shoes and outfit that you're going to play in. That's actually really, really important. I myself have had situations and experiences where I get on stage and I realize my f shoes were a bad idea. <laughs> And that's not something that you want to be worried about or thinking about when you're on the stage. It's too late to worry about that. Or maybe you sit down and you realize that the shirt that you're wearing is not very comfortable or it's stiff and it doesn't move or, or you can't breathe correctly if you're a singer. So doing at least one practice performance in your outfit is a fantastic idea and something I would say is maybe even essential. If you have a pair of shoes or an outfit that you already know is great for performing, that's also a great idea, then you maybe don't need to do so many practice performances with that. But as with all things, you have to practice performing. You have to start to understand what your specific body is going to do when you add stress to it. What is going to happen to you? Some people get really sweaty when they get nervous. And so you have to be able to figure out, can I play with sweaty hands? Some people, their heart rate goes crazy, and then they start their piece and it's three times faster than they've ever played before. But if you've given 10 practice performances, you have a much better baseline of how to start. So, what does your body do when it experiences stress? Do your 10 practice performances, and I think that you'll understand a little bit better about what you need and the preparation that you need to have a really successful main performance. And that's what we're all after, right? Is a performance that we come off the stage and feel really good. We are on the stage and we feel comfortable. We've been through all the unknowns before. It's actually kind of a good thing if one or two things go wrong in your 10 practice performances so that you know how to deal with it and you have dealt with it so that when something happens on stage, it's not a big deal. You've conditioned yourself in your brain to be able to handle it, move through it, and get past it. So, have you planned your practice performances? If you haven't, know the date of your performance and start planning them out. Make people sit down and listen, and do yourself a huge favor so that you can have the confidence that you want on the stage.